Malcolm X would agree with Ice Cube. Philosophically, Malcolm X in the 60s talked about the fact that most of the Democrats were really Dixiecrats. But what Ice Cube was talking about is a fundamental shift in the quality of life for the descendants of African slaves in ways that are meaningful economically. When I worked for Jesse Jackson, Gerald Ford was running against Jimmy Carter. Both of them came to our office, our national headquarters in Chicago, to meet with Jesse Jackson because Jesse Jackson was saying the same thing Ice Cube was saying, and that is that we should present our agenda to both parties, and the one that takes us the most seriously is the one we should support. Generically, philosophically, strategically, Ice Cube is right. Black people have got to be able to unite around some issues to protect the interests of future generations. Now, I'm not in politics. I, I observe politics. I've been in politics. And what I'm doing now is trying to get all black people to agree on one thing, and that is that less debt is better for us than more debt. And the less debt we have, the more likely it is we can grow our own economic strength. That's my one thing. But Ice Cube is right. Ice Cube says that he's crafted a contract with black America, in other words, what the government should commit to, and he presented it to both parties. That is absolutely the right thing to do. The problem is you can't wait until there's an election to do that kind of negotiation because it becomes so politicized that it taints the integrity of the effort.